to see. Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandabred Shire. Do you mean now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Str I did ask, didn't I? Follow me. A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Quickly, Savor. Not a long ship. Right. <clears throat> Let's go. You must row in these waters. It's lovely here. Why do you come this far east of the settlement? Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. There. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight.
here we are. Welcome to Grandbridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Well, 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 is that any voice? It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I... Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Evo seems to have for befriending love. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open. Only now, in times of trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits having kept near. They attack all merchants who travel here by river. They could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this day. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, cut. <laughs> The bandits are camped on a river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. You will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close, and do as I do. You don't sternly at the horizon? By all means. I thought you wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go. Strength. Great.
Now to deliver Magni his horse. a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need the... That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any... <coughs> that was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home, Tegla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. If your first remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse. Find the court, she is safe. She is. Eivor, over here! Look at this! Oh, someone is the. What are you playing? A drinking contest. Ranvi. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Satisfied. Now come. After just. Ugh. It's a sunken tower. It's near the highest point of a hill. All right. I know it might not. Oh, it. Speaking already. Well, I do hope to see you again, Randy. Return any time. I might have to, Mag. For everything. No, no. Thank you. Safe travels. Poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. 
You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend you're... Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Cinnabar's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when the first time it was winter's ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. <laughs> Look at this. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting, sailing. I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the feet. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream. Then don't. You can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Uh, oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. I banish the thought that many times I wish to tell you. Wish to say what was in my heart and what I desired, but duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought. Deeds are more direct than words.
Must have returned to the settlement. <laughs> 